and I'll see you later when it's all done. Bye, give me the kiss. <laughs> right, I've got my socks on and the anaesthetist has just been around. Does it hurt? Oh man, does it hurt? No. Shall I get you the Zimmer frame? I can't laugh for a week. You never laugh anyway, you're a miserable shit. Hello guys, welcome to a new vlog. It's hernia operation day. So it's nine o'clock in the morning, I've got to be there for 11 o'clock. We're gonna set off now, it's a little bit early, but we'll just take it nice and steady. Well, I've just drunk a massive bottle of water, so we're gonna to have to stop at the service station. I already know this. I have got my um, bag packed. I'm taking a Mickey bag with my um, some shorts for afterwards, uh, dressing gown, some slippers, which they said to bring, some antiperspirant, because it's very hot today, just in case I'm a bit sweaty, um, and my Kindle, and a charger. And I'm taking my tablet, my sunglasses, and I'm gonna sit on the decking at the apartment, on the balcony at the apartment, and I'm just gonna chill. Hmm. Well, hopefully I won't be too long. He said 20 to 30 minute operation, as long as I can get in pretty You'll quick. You'll be recovering more than the operation Yeah, was. probably. And don't forget, when we're in the car, I need to tell everybody about my, the weirdest dream I've ever had in my entire life. We'll tell you in a bit. Right, we're on our way, and I tell you something, I'm starving, but I can't have anything to eat. All I can do is drink water, but I don't want to drink too much. I'm going to fast with you. Okay. I'm fasting with you until you get back to the apartment and you'll have something. No, there's nothing to eat at the apartment unless I want a slice of toast. Yeah, toast. No, I will fast with you since I've got to lose these pounds for um, upcoming travel. If that ever happens. If it ever happens. But we're not going to France, are we? So. No, well, we're thinking if, if a Florida trip doesn't go ahead, we could maybe just nip over to Disneyland Paris instead for the first time ever. Uh, but obviously, now you can't go there without isolating and blah, 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 blah. So Which anyway. is not a problem for us, to be honest. No, we can work from home, so. But it's just it more trouble than it's worth a minute going anywhere. So anyway, Nick wants to tell you about his dream he had last night. Right, this was the strangest dream I've ever had in my entire life. So, first of all, I was in my grand's old house, aliens were invading, and the next thing, um, I was sat on the bottom of my grand's steps with an umbilical cord coming out of my trouser leg, going under the stairs at my grand's into a parcel that was wrapped in tissue, and when I opened it, there was a baby inside. It was my two-year-old son with blonde hair that could talk. Hmm. Freaky or what? <laughs> now, the reason why the umbilical cord was in my dream is because when I watched your hernia operation video on YouTube last night, they were like pulling bits out and Nick likes to watch whenever anybody goes in for an operation or anything Nick likes to watch it on YouTube so he's been watching hernia operations on YouTube it's actually a really really simple operation and he thinks he can do it itself I actually thought <laughs> give it a go I actually thought that they'd actually go inside you but they're not they just literally cut the skin and then they just stretch the muscle over yeah. and then just stitch it they're not even they're not even go inside yeah because i'm having the non-mesh um version um because there's lots of controversy over hernia mesh and stuff like that at the moment which is why i cancelled my hernia, hernia operation three years ago they didn't give me the option of no mesh well then. you didn't actually tell him why you cancelled no that. i should have said, said something he, could have, he might have actually said oh well i can do it yeah. without then well i said to this suggest i didn't even realize it was an option because I thought I was going in for mesh, and he asked why I cancelled it, and he says, oh, well, I can do no mesh. He says, I've been doing it for 30 years e either way. Even though it was the same doctor you actually saw yeah, last time Yeah, well, I never well. said it to him last time, did I? So anyway, we're on his way for that. Um, we should be there in about um, an hour or so. between NHS, which is fabulous. NHS is fabulous, got nothing bad to say about it. But when you go private... Yeah, but you're paying for this. We, uh, really... No, no, I'm not. What? No. Oh yeah, you pay for this, you, I'm not pay, paying yeah, for it. All, your, all that extra money you're paying for is yeah, going on like flashy grounds when really yeah. all you want is to get like fixed quicker, do you well, know what I mean? No, I love this flashy ground. Yeah, but it don't benefit you. It, it looks like you're going into a spa or something. So I'm on NHS, but I was referred to this private hospital. Um, Greenside, aren't we? Patient, yeah, patient drop-off. I think so. Ooh, Inpatients, back. yeah. Oh yeah, there's nobody here. Right then. So, um, park up and I'll get in. Do I park here or at the door or? I don't know, just park here. And I'll see you later when it's all done. Bye, give me the kiss. <laughs> Have fun without me. Have a nice day. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, maybe I've got some bits and bats to do, but... Fingers crossed it's have a nice hour or so and then I'm very ready. Well, fingers crossed. I mean, it's an hour back to the apartment from here, so... Well, probably less, but um, 
Yeah, you'll have to make sure when you ring me, you'll have to give me an hour's notice to get here, otherwise you'll be sat waiting. Bye. Bye. Right, guys, I'm in my room. So here we are. Nice room, nice bed, TV. I'm not going down to surgery for about an hour and a half. So my um, gown is there. They've just gone to get my surgical stockings, and I have just ordered my lunch for afterwards. So I'm getting a Caesar salad and some vanilla ice cream. So uh, that's the difference when you're paying for private, which I don't. I've just been lucky to have been referred here. You get all this. So I'm just going to chill, read my Kindle, and uh, wait for my stockings to arrive. Right, I've got my socks on. And the anaesthetist has just been around, uh, saying she'll be back in a while. My stomach is grumbling. And it's not from nerves, it's from hunger. I can't wait for my meal after this. I'm mad, I've not had anything to eat all day. Uh, so gowns on, stockings are on, and I've got about 40 minutes or so until I go in. Right, I'm back to a 31 degree apartment. Anyway, um, I've got a few tasks to do. So when we went back to the lodge last time, we bought some um, hotel collection pillows from um, Julian Charles. So the ones we got on the bed were just cheap ones that we got from Amazon just to um, just for the one bedroom flat, which was gonna be temporary. Anyway, we never replaced them, so we've bought these. Um, I'm also going to fit my my Brad lights. Basically, it's Brad from uh, Sex Life on Netflix. He had them in his apartment, so I really liked them. So I'm gonna fit them. One's gonna be fitted behind the TV there, and then one's gonna be on the sofa there. So I'm gonna rig them up. I won't be able to test them this time, unfortunately, because it won't be dark, and they, um, they, 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 the lighting is like a mood light, so you can only see it when it's really dark. Right. So these are the ones that are basically full of lumpy sponge. So they were comfortable for about two weeks. If you hear some noise, it's actually some guys that's moving in outside. These seem a little bit big for these pillowcases, but we'll give them a go. Perfect. Right, I've just heard from Lee. Um, he's not going down for surgery until one o'clock and then um, I think they've got to shave him So he's gonna come back with a Brazilian and then he goes down for surgery at one and it should take about 25 minutes And then the hospital's gonna call me and then I'm gonna go and pick him up So in the meantime, I'm gonna get myself some breakfast put these lights up and uh, Back when I've done it right. I've installed them unfortunately because it's too bright It's not getting the full effect, but you'll get the drift. Here we go Ele Mood lights on Okay there we go, so they come on really gradually and they're in purple mode at the minute and then there's also a set down here and when it's on an evening that entire wall and curtain will glow purple and there's an app on my phone that I can change it so I can change it to any colour I want Right, it's three o'clock in the afternoon, Lee went down to, sur down to um, the theatre at half past twelve, he messaged me about an hour ago to say that he's out, out of recovery, said he feels like he's had a good night's sleep and um, he's just having something to eat and they've got to wait two hours apparently and then I can go and pick him up. So um, <clears throat> I've just got myself some chips on and um, I just keep testing the, um, the mood lights now and I'm going to show you what it looks like from a distance. <laughs> the mood lights on. Okay. Now it's very subtle in this light, but obviously on a night time it's going to be quite intense. Um, but you can turn the brightness down on these, and I have just actually added them all to our Amazon store while I've been waiting for him. <laughs> Mood lights off. Okay. I've actually grouped, there's two lights. Um, I'll actually show you them actually. There we go, there's one there. It's like a little floodlight. And then there's one behind the sofa here. Another little floodlight. They're both connected to the uh, Smart Life app or GoSund, they're all the same thing and you can group them together so I've created a group called Mood Lights and I can control them individually or as a group. Right, it is half past four, um, Lee has had a ginger biscuit and almost passed out so they're leaving him in bed for another half an hour. I've just been to the farm shop and I'm going to slowly map my way back now over to Leeds where the hospital is and um, just maybe dawdle in the car park until he's ready to get back in the car and then we've got like an hour and a half trip then back to the lodge. Right, I've arrived at the hospital. Lee's just texted me, said he's getting dressed and asked if I'm here. Uh, he just said getting his shoes on then waiting for him to get my medication, codeine and laxatives. Lovely. Guess he's having, gonna have a problem pooing. He's here. Does it hurt? Moment. Of course it hurts. Oop. Not too bad though. Let me get my seatbelt on. You're gonna have to hold it because it'll be over here. What? Because uh, it's in that area, yeah. isn't it? 
What's all the um, is, uh, iodine? Ooh. You thought they would wiped it off for me, but I'll have to mush that off when I get back. So, all done? All done. Right, let's get back to the lodge. Okay. Right, we're back. And uh, Lee's managed to hin inch himself in from the outside. It took him about 15 minutes like an old man. I should have just got you a Zimmer frame. I don't think I did too bad myself. Actually. Yeah, but when you were actually getting in the car when you were at the hospital, you literally walked normal. Well, the coding's obviously wearing off, isn't it? Well, you get another one then. Um, so before we came back, I actually went to the farm shop and I actually got um, six yogurts, some Wednesday cheese. I actually got um, some orange too, maybe sweet corn, some, yeah, that. An onion, and I'm going to make a little bit of a Chinese now. Oh yeah, I actually got two little cheesecakes and all. Oh no, they're both the same flavour. Two black forests. I thought I'd got a cherry one, but um, it's unbearably hot. One's a cherry and one's a black forest. I've just opened a box of chocolates and a car from my lovely friends. Oh yeah, there we go. They were a bit, they were a bit melted. From my lovely friends, Sandy and Steve. She's been messaging me saying, "Am I worried about you?" She even said, sure make, sure, make sure you've been eating. Yeah. She's like a mum, isn't she? And I'm like, you have been busy doing lights. Well, I think she'd take offence at the same mum because she's only a few years older than you, auntie. She's about and three, three years older. <laughs> right, are you going to sit there then? No, I think so, yeah. Right, I'm going to prepare the tea. I've just got to tidy up all this stuff. Um, and then Nurse Nick will be out, ready to serve the invalid. Oh, can you pass me the paperwork? Because there is a sheet of A4. Yeah, you can, sod off. you can sod off. No, it's true. The role of a carer. Uh, I'll write that myself, thanks. You will need to stay with the patient for the next 24 hours. You must be within calling distance. You must not go home upon transfer. Make sure that the patient is comfortable and resting on your arrival home. It does, it, does it say anything about must not have a drink? The patient may feel quite sleepy, and I am actually... I was really wide awake early, but now I'm feeling a bit sleepy. Ensure they have a peaceful environment. Sleep on sofa, then. that they are rousable. Arousable? No, not arousable. Rousable. What the frick does that mean? Well, make sure I've not I've passed out. It is important that the patient has regular drinks to help prevent dehydration. Avoid offering them a heavy meal. We well, don't eat it then. Small meals or snacks may be more preferable. As I said, it can typically impair judgment and coordination. Therefore, it is advisable the patient does not make any important decisions. Post anything on social media. <laughs> Get off your phone then. Drive or operate any machine for 20 Post hours. anything on social media? <laughs> Are they actually serious? Alcohol should not be consumed um, for 24 hours. Be aware of any Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that for you or for me? Uh, that's for me. Woo, thank God for that. Right, that's, well, I do that every day, so. Send a glass of wine. How's it going? Nurse Nick is cooking. So, just a quick Chinese stir fry. There you go. And a glass of wine for me. Not a big portion for me, I'm not all that hungry. Now but you tell me. Probably because I just had an ice cream in the car. Hang on, go. that's hot, hot. No, it's not. Not hot, in the slightest. Very nice, thank you. Almost as good service as the hospital. You have to go back. <gasps> what? We shut all the windows, it's baking so hot. It's like 31 degrees in here. Go and do it for vlog. Just walk pathetic. I'm not walking pathetic, I'm walking like somebody who's, ah, you've had a hernia operation. <laughs> Will that just put on? No, no. Shall I get you a Zimmer frame? I can't laugh for a week. You never laugh anyway, you're a miserable shit. Right, we'll see you tomorrow guys, we're off to bed. Good morning. Good morning, sweetie, thank you for the coffee. How was your night's sleep? That's all the shit. <laughs> Why was that? I don't know really, I mean I've looked at a lot of other people told me that the night after having general anaesthetic and stuff that they can't sleep. So it might be alright. Well, I had to endure listening at the side of you and you slept quite a lot because you snored for most of it. And the last time I looked at the clock it was half past four and then I, I know I slept for three hours until half past seven so that was nice. Um, not a fan of these thought things though, but at least they've got colour. Right, so Hopefully I'm, the, I'm uh, not, I'm going to cut my body off. Oh god, look at this, look at this builder's tan. So um, I've been sat outside, I've actually got up at half past seven, cleaned the lodge, got rid of all the flies that came in last night, um, cleaned the kitchen, bleached it, did all the, um, the cooker, everything's now spot on again. I even got Edgar helping me as well. Did you? Yeah. I'm just having a coffee. Um, the sun is shining and it is so hot. We've um, put the brolly out again and all the furniture out. I'm hoping I can entice Lee to get off his ass and get outside. 
Because he's been sat in bed for three hours feeling sorry for himself. I've not been feeling sorry for myself at all. I've been tired. Nick doesn't get it. He's never had an operation before. I do get the fact that you you get a splinter and you end up basically going to bed rest. You just got to recuperate the day after, and that's what I plan to do. But I must admit that once I get up and start walking around, I feel a lot better. Yeah, well, you will do. But it's just that initial getting up is like. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, but you've been walking around like a hunchback. I've just said to him, "Why have you? Why have you? Have you had an operation on your back?" How's it affect my back? It it's doesn't. Annoying. It doesn't. You think, oh, I've got a bit of pain, I need to basically be really, Nick's really careful. Lucky. He's never had an uh, operation, he's very healthy. No, but Nick has pain and he doesn't mollycoddle. And I'm not modeling, mollycoddling you. Please, you've been like a friggin... on about your IBS for the last six months, down in dumps. Do you see me laid in bed with socks on? <laughs> no, exactly it's my DVT, point. It's DVT, I'm afraid. It's DVT for people that have bed rest. I've asked a, a, one of my nurse friends and she says, yes, make sure you... Uh, Keep them on what until... she said until you resume normal activity. Yeah. Well, get get resuming. Mm. Everything I've read says when you've had a hernia operation, the he the best way to heal is to get back to doing as many normal things as you possibly can. Well, my normal thing is sat here watching TV. Well, that's true. Just doing a thumbnail, and I feel much more wide awake now. I've had a nice shower, coffee, uh, coffee and just waiting for Nick to make me a Wensleydale cheese sandwich. You are delicious, mine. He said, he, he, he said, well, he said, I'm not hungry, I don't want one. As soon as I had mine, I got sat outside. I want a sandwich. I'm not so it's come amazingly up hungry, but um, I'll try one, I'll try one. They are mightily delicious. Oh, it's taking me a long time to get from the freezer. <laughs> Outside. Ah. How many? There's only one left. Mm -hmm. You'll have to have it. And I'll have some of that ice cream you bought. Okay. Try not to get you on camera because I don't want people unsubscribing. Okay. Kelly's honeycomb crunch for me. Because um, when I was in the hospital yesterday, they gave me some ice cream and it was so nice because um, I'll tell you about the operation a little bit later in this video. I'll sit down and um, just tell you sort of like what happened, how it went and why I'm needing ice cream for my throat. Right, we're just waiting on Tesco arriving. I'm just having a walk around. Uh, what? Food inside the dishwasher, we need to run it on empty. So, I did a little bit of vlogging as you saw on my phone in the uh, hospital yesterday. I've just been sat down for a while. It, it, it hurts after I've been sat down for a while. So I'm just walking around. So, everything went really well. Let me just sit down. Uh, we're waiting for Tesco to come. Everything went really well. Um, you saw the room that I had. That's the first time I've ever been to a private hospital that I can think of. Um, so it was really good. I got the a menu. I'm not sure if I should show that or not. Um, they gave me a menu uh, to order my food. So I got a Caesar salad and uh, some ice cream. What choices were on it? Well, to be honest, I didn't really look at everything. I just saw Caesar salad and I thought that would be quite nice and light for afterwards. Wow. And I scream. I went down to the anaesthetic room. I was talking about the herbal supplement that I take, saw Pimento. And they were like, oh, we never heard of that one, it should be fine, blah, blah, blah. And the next thing I knew, well, I did, they put a mask on my um, face as they were talking, then they put the, the cannula in, and the next thing I knew, I was awake. And the nurse was like, oh, all done, and um, it's all gone fine. And so I, for about 10 seconds I was like, where the hell am I? Who am I? Who are you? And then um, I started coming around and they took me back to the room and sat me up, they brought me some tea and biscuits. Um, I had a full biscuit and my mouth was so dry. It was like the driest thing I've ever tasted in my life. Um, so I had a little bit of juice. Then I started feeling really dizzy and hot. So I had to press the buzzer and he just came in and I know I'll find to be honest after that. I don't know what it was, let me see over here. So I had my biscuits and then um, they let me come around for a little bit more. Then they brought the food in and I thought I'm never going to eat any of this. I'll put a picture here. I took a picture of the food and it was a seed salad. And I thought there's no way I can eat any of this. I got the first piece of my mouth and I was just suddenly became ravenous. So I scoffed a lot and... Nothing changes. <laughs> They said that my mouth would be dry for a couple of days afterwards because of the mask that I had on with the anaesthetic. Um, and, and it was so dry getting Rolling anything down. 
I was I went to drink with every, everything I ate and then I started eating the ice cream and it was amazing it felt so good so I scoffed all that as well and that was really, that was really nice um, and then I, the, he, the nurse came in and he just said right we need you to wee and we need you to walk to the toilet which was in the same room but it felt like I had to climb a mountain at that time so I had to get up went to the toilet and then he came back and Nick was on his way because they let me text him and um, that was it then so I walked out he took my bag he said do you want to go down the lift or the stairs I said I'll, I'll take the lift and that was it then and then I came back in I felt so wide awake wasn't I in the car I was so wide awake and perky and I didn't even feel like I had an operation well you said on the way over that you couldn't feel a, no. you couldn't feel a thing when I'm sat down it's fine I can't feel a thing from and, the cold yeah maybe it's like oh yes I had a cold afterwards and that sent me not wappy but a, a bit like Great. Mm, yeah, he was saying to us on WhatsApp, Oh, I'm so lucky to be surrounded by such wonderful people. He would never say that. Must yes, I would. Um, so I did bring the codeine home. They gave me some codeine, paracetamol, and some laxatives because codeine can um, constipate, apparently. But you've been too scared to take them. I haven't taken any codeine because I don't want to go wappy again. So I've just been sticking to paracetamol and it's been fine. So that was it, all done, all dusted. I've got to go back in 10 days because they have put clips in and not stitches. So I've got to go back for the clips out. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, that's it. We're free to do what we want then, depending on how the world goes, because obviously it's not going very well at the minute with cases and the virus. So we'll see how things go. And then hopefully we might get some traveling, even if it's just UK traveling, going to see friends in different parts of the country. We're going somewhere. Don't yeah. somewhere. So we're waiting on Tesco, they should be due Sort of like any time now. We're in his window, so... And then we might have a snack. It's about time you got back. Unfortunately, we've got no Magatot. What the hell is that? Oh, mine's too. That's what she called it. Magatot? Magatot. Sorry, love, your Magatot's missing. Like, <laughs> Magatot? <laughs> Wait, when I read the invoice, it says mine's too. Don't, don't make me laugh, please. Why does it hurt? It hurts to laugh. <laughs> your back is like a lobster. It's not. It is. It's not. Never learn, will you? It's not burnt. It's like a lobster. But it's not burnt. Neither is my front. You're like a lobster. Yeah, but it's not burnt this time. Thanks for watching today, it's guys. Brown this time. We're going to um, end the vlog with some side snacks, so I'm closer to the um, toilet right. for getting up. So thanks for watching. Click subscribe. Hit the, yeah. <laughs> Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop a comment below. We'll see you on the next vlog when hopefully I can move around a bit more. We'll go out in the car somewhere tomorrow. Definitely. Thanks for watching. Bye.